So here we have our balanced equation. Right? So to write out what we call the total ionic equation, we have to convert all these that really become, that are considered aqueous. These are all aqueous. Okay, so this is aqueous, this is aqueous, and this is what we've already determined to be our precipitate, right? So we want to write all these that are aqueous as charges, right? So how are we going to do that? Well, let's do this. Uh, let's find a color here. So let's, um, let's use green. So here we have K3PO4. So ideally, you want to separate your metal from your non-metal, because that's what you're going to always have with these types of um, solutions. So your metal is potassium. What's the charge for the potassium? Plus 1. All right. Plus PO4, which is your non-metal, which is the polyatomic. All right. PO4, what's the charge for PO4? Negative 3. All right. However, if you look at this equation, how many potassiums do we have in this equation? Three. No, we have six. With six total. So really, we want to make sure we have six potassium and how many, sorry, six potassium, yeah, and how many phosphate? One, uh, two. Two phosphate, right? Because that uh, two mm. means I have two of the phosphates, but two times three, six potassium. Mm. And these are both considered aqueous as well. So these are both aqueous. But that's only this. So now we've got to keep adding to that. So plus SrCl2. Would you like the aqueous below? I know you'd put it off the side. It's just, yeah. So, um, so then we've got the Sr. Sr. And we look at the periodic table. The charge for Sr is a plus 2. Plus the nonmetal is Cl. And it's negative 1, right? But how many SRs? Three. Three. How many CLs? Six. Six. Okay. And now, right, we've got... So those are, that's the reactant. Mm -hmm. So right now, all that is this part here, what we've done. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue this, right, underneath it. And we're going to break down this, the uh, KCL. So the metal is K, and we know it's plus... Right? Plus Cl, which is negative. Right? How many um, Ks? Six Ks. How many Cls? Six Cls. Right? And then we we're left over with the Sr3P42. Because this one is insoluble. So that's going to be the solid. While these here are going to be what's aqueous. Okay. So this is what we call the total ionic. Right? So, now, how do we find out from this total ionic um, what is the net ionic? Okay. So what you want to do is you want to cross out the ions, right, those that are, that are charges that can, be, that, are, can appear, that appear on both sides of this equal mm -hmm. sign. So what appears on both sides of the equal? Okay. The Ks, right? The there is, so 6 Ks and, and 6 Ks and, and the 6, CLs. 6 CLs and the 6 CLs. And what I have left over, these two here, to form this here is what we call the net ionic equation. And the ones that we crossed out, right, the ones that, that we actually crossed out are referred, right, so this K plus and this CL are referred to as the spectator ions. But you would, if you could put a spectator in it, would you put the six? No, you wouldn't have yeah. to put the charges, no. Okay? You're welcome.